First, we'll edit our header template to create a header. We have a new element, header row, for building the individual rows. These have their own header specific settings which we'll look at later. Let's give the header a white background and increase the height. And add some elements in. Now we have our global header that appears the same across all pages and templates. Let's make the header overlay the top section. If we want our header settings to be global, we go to the header template settings. In the header extras tab, The overlay header can be applied at any of the breakpoints. We click to apply the settings to the template. Let's view our pages on the front. Now we have the same overlay header on each page of the site. For single posts, it doesn't make sense to have an overlay header. Let's disable it. We can edit our single post template and go to the header extra settings. The defaults will all be inheriting the global settings, we can override it just for this template. Let's set it to none, and apply our template settings. Now the overlay header is everywhere apart from the single posts. If we didn't want the overlay to be global, we can remove it from the header template settings. And then just apply it where we need it. Let's apply it just to this page. Here we go to page settings. Now the overlay is only for that one page. Let's look at sticky headers. The sticky header can also be applied at different breakpoints. We want the header to be sticky after scrolling 300 pixels. And we'll add a transition for it to become visible. Now after scrolling 300 pixels, we see our sticky header. We see the same for the overlay header.
We can choose to show or hide our header row inside the sticky header. And we can change the styles when sticky. Let's reduce the height and change some colors. We can preview the new sticky styles in the builder. We can also hide the header after scrolling a set distance. Now the sticky header will still become visible after 300 pixels, but after 800 pixels, the header will hide. It can also slide up. We can customize the sticky header further by adding multiple header rows. We'll show just the menu inside the sticky header. Now only the top header row will show when sticky. This allows us to create completely different sticky headers. The same can be done with the notification bar element. We can set it to only show inside the sticky header which then gives us a dismissible sticky header. Let's create an alternative header row for the overlay header. This can be our overlay version. We'll set this one to show only inside the overlay header. And this one to hide. When the header is overlay, we see our alternative header. <laughs> 